Hi everyone, I'm getting ready to head out um, to go make a delivery to Square One Fish Company. They use my pickles and their Bloody Marys and today is Sunday <laughs> and they serve a lot of Bloody Marys on Sundays. They also um, use my pickles to make a an infusion and an, an vodka infusion it's right there on the bar and they make fickle teenies with it so like martinis made with infused pickle vodka fickle vodka but before I go I would just wanted to go ahead and make a quick video just say hello because I am trying to do this you know a video a day for 60 days for this um, shadow work challenge with Bryce so I um, just opened this book, this little book that I have. Sometimes whenever I can't think of anything else to say, I just don't know what my thoughts really are and I need to just quiet my mind. I'll just pick up, you know, an inspirational book and just, and just open it up and just read. And huh, all this talk about metaverse, I don't even know what it is, but like meta, M-E-T-A, like is that what people are calling Facebook now? I mean, I'm not even sure. I'm going to have to look it up. But um, when I opened up this little book, y'all, <laughs> this is the page it was on. Chapter 8, Meta Meditation. It's spelled M-E-T-T-A. This is Tick, not Han. Just a little, a little, you know, a few little um, inspirations from from things that he taught. It says to love is, first of all, to accept ourselves as we are. Chapter eight, meta meditation. Meta means loving kindness. To love is, first of all, to accept ourselves as we are. When we practice meta love or meditation, we see the conditions that have caused us to be the way we are. This makes it easy for us to accept ourselves, our suffering, and our happiness. That's really true. Like, um, when I am in meditation, just all alone by myself, I guess that is meta love. It is like me um, going completely inward and um, truly loving myself and letting... Um, what is supposed to come to myself come to me in that meta love state. When we practice stopping and breathing, we observe how much peace, happiness, and lightness we already have and how much anger, irritation, fear, anxiety, and worry are there in us. As we become aware of our feelings, our self-understanding deepens. We see how our fears and lack of peace contribute to our unhappiness. So true. And we see the value of loving ourselves and cultivating a heart of compassion. Sit still, calm your body and your breathing and recite the meditation to yourself. Sitting still, you're not too preoccupied with other matters. So you can look deeply at yourself as you are Cultivate your love for yourself and determine the best ways to express this love in the world. So here's the meditation. We say, may I be peaceful, happy, and light in body and spirit. May I be safe and free from injury. May I be free from anger, afflictions, fear, and anxiety. Begin practicing this love meditation on yourself using the pronoun I. Until you're able to love and care for yourself, you can't be much help to others. Then practice on others by replacing I with he, she, or they. First on someone you like, then on someone neutral to you, then on someone you love, and finally on someone the mere thought of whom makes you suffer. Ooh. A human being is made of five elements. Form, that's the body. Feelings, perceptions, mental formations. Those are the ideas, notions, and thoughts. And consciousness. 
These elements are your territory, the space you occupy. To know the real situation within yourself, you have to know your own territory. So true. Yeah. Who are you? <laughs> to know the real situation within yourself, you have to know your own territory, including the elements within you that are at war with each other. In order to bring about harmony, reconciliation, and healing within, you have to understand yourself. Looking and listening deeply, surveying your territory is the beginning of love meditation, that meta love. If you like, you can continue the meditation using the following aspirations. May I be peaceful, happy, and light in body and spirit. May she be peaceful, happy, and light in body and spirit. May he be peaceful, happy, and light in body and spirit. May they be peaceful, happy, and light in body and spirit. May I be safe from and free from injury. May she be safe and free from injury. I'm picturing my best friend. May he be safe and free from injury. I'm picturing my husband right there. May they be safe and free from injury. I'm praying and thinking of all of you that are watching. May I be free from anger, afflictions, fear, and anxiety. May she be free from anger, afflictions, fear, and anxiety. May he be free from anger, afflictions, fear, and anxiety. May they, that's you, <laughs> be free from anger, afflictions, fear, and anxiety. May I learn to look at myself with the eyes of understanding and love. Hmm. Self-judgment is a tough one, y'all, isn't it? <laughs> May she learn to look at herself with the eyes of understanding and love. May he learn to look at himself with the eyes of understanding and love. And may you learn to look at yourself with the eyes of understanding and love. May I be able to recognize and touch the seeds of joy and happiness in myself. May he be able to recognize and touch the seeds of joy and happiness in himself. May she be able to recognize and touch the seeds of joy and happiness in herself. May you be able to recognize and touch the seeds of joy and happiness in yourself. May I learn to identify and see the sources of anger, craving, and delusion in myself. May he learn to identify and see the sources of anger, craving, and delusion in himself. May she learn to identify and see the sources of anger, craving, and delusion in herself. And may you learn to identify and see the sources of anger, craving, and delusion in yourself. May I know how to nourish the seeds of joy in myself every day. May you know how to nourish the seeds of joy in yourself every day. May we all together know how to nourish the seeds of joy in ourselves every day. May I be able to live fresh, solid, and free. May you be able to live fresh, solid, and free. May we all be able to live fresh, solid, and free. May I be free from attachment and aversion but not be indifferent. May you be free from attachment and aversion, but not be indifferent. May we all be free from attachment and aversion, but not be indifferent. We begin with an aspiration, may I be. Then we transcend the level of aspiration and look deeply with all our being in order to understand. The intention to love is not yet love looking deeply at ourselves and at another person or group. Our aspiration to love will become a deep intention. Love will enter our thoughts, words, and actions, and we'll become more peaceful, happy, and light in body and spirit. <laughs> I love this. So friends, you know, we hear this a lot, like any anything like uh, technology, um, a gaming device, I'm trying to think, um, a gun, <laughs> uh, so many things, you know, anything can be used for good or bad. Just like the meta, 
So if you are like one of those, like, oh, the metaverse, scary, scary place, right? Why don't you um, instead think of it as meta love and meditation and use it for good? Just a thought. Yeah. Cute little book. <laughs> I think I got it on Amazon. It's just a little good thing that um, I keep it like in my glove box in my car sometimes or um, it's always in my travel bag. Just um, when I'm needing like a little reminder, it's just a good little, good little um, <laughs> pocket memory. All right. I love you all. Happy Sunday. <sighs> love yourself. Have meta love for yourself. Don't be afraid of the metaverse, y'all. <laughs> we use, we can make anything good because we are of the light. Only light creates. The dark cannot. The dark only copies. So, that metaverse is just copying or trying to copy meta, M-E-T-T-A, love. All right. Bye. <laughs> See y'all soon.